Good morning from Let Us Eat. I am Suzanne Ridgeway and welcome to my channel. For tonight's dinner, I am going to be doing an easy crock pot chicken taco. I have a crock pot liner and I will be putting it into my crock pot in a minute and we'll dive right into it and add all the ingredients. Today I got my crock pot liner. I'm going to insert it into my crock pot like that. It's a bit of a messy meal. I'm doing crock pot chicken tacos. I got a bag of the shortcuts. I'm going to dump that right in there. And I have a, my clean pair of scissors. I'm going to cube them a little better so they're more bite sized. Just by taking your scissors. I picked up my crock pot liners at Walmart in the section of small appliances by the crock pots. They won't have to be so big, the chicken pieces, because they're supposed to fit into a taco. I have my crock pot already on low. Because these are fully cooked pieces of chicken, they don't need to be on high to cook. You just want them simmering. I've got my taco kit. I have some leftover chicken that was cooked. I might not eat a lot of chicken legs. I can make a big pot of a uh, chicken soup for a friend that's sick. And make bone in broth. I'm going to need two extra drumsticks because that's nice and full of chicken. When you're handling poultry, always wash your hands. Some soap and water. nails too, if anything got under your fingers, and wipe your hands down. I'm not going to need the extra chicken for this taco dish, so I will make some soup for my friend. I'm going to take my knife cutter, sharpener, just quickly a few times and rinse it off. I'm going to slice my onion on the side. And then I'm going to peel it. I usually do the first two layers. And then I'm going to put this into my garbage bowl in the sink. Just makes it easier to clean up with your sink. Crock pot's already warming up, surprise me. Slice the onion in half. Slice it again. I have a woods behind me. I don't think you can hear them, but I had a bunch of common grackle 
high up in the tree up behind my house. I love their sound they make. They're a very pretty, colorful bird. I usually get them early in the morning and late in the afternoon before nesting time. My eyes are already starting to tear up, so I'm going to give them a rinse. And I've mentioned this before. I rub my hands on the stainless because it's, for some reason, it just stops the reaction of the onions affecting your eyes. Because I'm not really crying. Get this nice and minced. I'm going to save the other half for my lunch later. I took out a really nice brown sugar ham steak, a small one, and I made a ham and cheese stuffed omelet for breakfast. I'm going to do my hands one more time. Set the onion aside. Grabbing my can opener. I'm going to add my crushed tomato in the summertime. In the summertime, I like to use fresh tomato with my crock pot chicken tacos, chicken taco soup, spaghetti sauces, chili. crushed tomato that I'm using. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of fresh black cracked pepper. Make sure you get all over the entire crock pot. I'm going to use a tablespoon of garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want to make a little bit of a more fancier crock pot taco. open my taco kit and I'm going to reserve the soft tacos because we use them in the, for breakfast wraps and the hard tacos are what we usually eat at dinner time. I'm going to put the salsa into the crock pot. Give it a good squeeze. came out. And then I'm going to take the seasoning packet. I used to always buy these by the case, the old El Paso's. But I bought a big thing of McCormick's taco seasoning at my BJ's Wholesale Warehouse. And I'm going to try using that and just buying the shells as I need them instead of the case. Save some money. I'll give this a quick Stir to get it all mixed up. I'm going to add just about a quarter cup of water so it doesn't burn at the bottom. You don't want to overwater it because it's not a soup. Around. There we go. I'm going to keep this on low till maybe 12, 1 o'clock and put it to keep warm. I have cheese to put on the tacos, sour cream. We're not really big lettuce eaters. Occasionally, if I have it, we'll put it on there. And this is what the crock pot looks like with all my ingredients in it. Recap, I have one packet of shortcuts by Purdue. I have three drumsticks that were frozen from a previous meal.
that were thawed and I broke up the chicken and put it into the crock pot. I have a can of crushed tomatoes, a quarter cup of water, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of fresh black cracked pepper, and I have a taco seasoning packet and the packet of salsa from the taco kit. This is what's for dinner, crock pot chicken tacos. Thank you and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe.